This is my dad. He is pretty much one of my best friends. This is our story. I have what's called uh, multiple myeloma. I'm 57 years old and everything that helps has been affecting me here recently started about six years ago. It started with the peripheral neuropathy, um, which started to affect my ability to use my hands and my feet. I was able to walk for a number of years, but then I started finding myself like not being able to balance well enough and falling and things like that. It was at that point that we realized that it was a cancer that was causing the, the peripheral neuropathy. What a lot of you might be able to see is that this neuropathy began to affect my dad's daily routine, doing things such as brushing his teeth, shaving his face, There's a little trick I did off, just put, put the razor in my hand. Um, I get it close to the edge of the sink and then I just stretch my fingers. Oops. It takes a try, a try one or two tries. So. so that way I can get my finger out on the razor and then I put the thumb on the other side. making his bed, and even just getting dressed. My dad spends most of his days inside of his office. He is basically the brains of the family, organizing our finances. None of us can do math but him, so that is a big help. He'll usually schedule us appointments when we need him to, and he really loves to read. There are many tools we have discovered that my dad finds useful on a daily basis which help him complete the things he needs to do. One of these being his teeth, his glasses, a magnetic adapter for his phone charger, a voice-activated software that types for him, and a utensil adapter so that he can eat on his own. I used to be uh, very active. Like I used to uh, ride my, my bike. I used to play golf um, and um, I used to go hiking and camping and things like that and kayaking. And I've been an athlete my entire life. So I'd, I've always been used to being able to, to do things uh, physically. And I've lost uh, my ability to do all of that. And I knew that I needed to physically uh, get stronger and rebound as effectively as I could. So.
had to step away from work about two and a half years ago. Um, I was employed as a uh, design manager at a design consultancy. Part of my activities at work included being able to use my hands. Uh, as a, I guess as a father and, and uh, husband, I always felt uh, uh, compelled to provide for my family as, as best as I could. And, and uh, it's been disheartening not being able to, to do that because it kind of tugs at my, my willingness or my desire to, uh, to be a provider for my family, and that's been tough. Every week, my dad undergoes chemotherapy treatments along with needing to take all of these pills. It really affects him physically. Every afternoon, my dad enjoys going on a walk with his walker and Oliver around the neighborhood. My mom helps him put his braces on for ankle support and a sweatshirt so he doesn't get cold. I have, I've discovered over time how, how closely related um, your ability to be able to do things can be connected to your, your outlook and your, your emotional um, your emotional well-being. My inability to be able to, to do things um, has really caused me to wrestle with my purpose and, and, and my ability to, or lack of ability, to uh, participate um, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a personal level with, with people. I, I, I feel a sense of loneliness sometimes and isolation. It's challenged my relationship with the Lord. Um, he, um, it really drove me to my, my knees in terms of um, uh, making sure that I was right with the Lord. Uh, my, my desire all along has been to, uh, to receive physical healing. You know, that well, maybe over time I might receive full healing at some point, and that's what, that's what I pray for, and I have many other people praying for me in the same regard. Um, but. But if it doesn't happen, um, you know, I, it would be, it would not, it would not, uh, it would not be my desire to, um, uh, to, to be separated from, uh, from, from my relationship with him. And uh, one of the hardest parts of, of my going through this uh, has been watching the impact that it's had on, on my family members. I know that this whole situation is has impacted all of us. I think that the illness has affected me in a way that there's been a lot of loss. I feel like I used to play a lot with my dad. We used to play games together. He taught me how to play soccer and I think that that is what drove me to play college soccer. It, it's gone and I hope that things that is just it really affects it affects your relationships it affects every single thing I, I've often said that it's like my marriage has three people in it now it, it's like me and Stephen and cancer and um, of course cancer was was is not a welcome member of that relationship and um, it's impacted every single aspect of the way we live How has dad inspired you? Um, well, he's he's absolutely incredible in his ability to persevere. There, you know, every single day he wakes up and he feels terrible. Every single day he he has this debilitating neuropathy where he can't use his hands. And I know he 
feels bad. And the chemo beats him up and he just he's just numb all over and yet he continues to persevere. Is that he just keeps going. Every single day he finds purpose. He finds the ability to just literally put one foot in front of the other and just keep going. And it's it, it's a miracle to me. One time when my dad was praying, he heard God say, I have walked with you through this. I will walk you out of it too.